There are two more ways of organizing qualitative data and displaying them, and these are bar graphs and pie charts. Now, a bar graph lists each measured category on the horizontal axis and the number of occurrences for each category on the vertical axis. So let me show you what that looks like. So back to my old example, imagine that you reached into a bag of candy 16 times and pulled out the following colors. Record your results in a bar graph. So just like before, I'm going to organize that into a frequency distribution. And now based on this frequency distribution, I can organize it into a bar graph like this. So you can see that we have six reds, six greens, and four blues. Notice that this is a bar graph, as in the bars are not touching each other. If they were touching each other, that'd be a histogram, and that'd be something a little bit different. So now, a pie chart. A pie chart is a circle divided into sectors, where each sector represents a category of the data that is proportional to the total amount of data collected. So, you know, what's a proportion? Well, a proportion is a part considered in relation to its whole. Like, for example, imagine a pizza with eight slices. Your friend takes and eats three slices. In this case, three-eighths is the proportion of the pizza your friend took. This can also be rep represented as a decimal, like three divided by eight equals 0 0.375. That number is a proportion. So, back to the candy example. Here's the same information as before, now shown in a pie chart. You can see that about 37.5% is given to red, 37.5% is given to green, and the other 25% is left over to blue. We still have the same frequencies as we did before, except now it's organized into a pie chart, which is probably the easiest way of displaying the data, the easiest way of looking at it, but it also doesn't tell us very much about what the original numbers were. It's not as descriptive as the bar graph was. And those are also, you know, two more ways of displaying qualitative data. We have the bar graph and the pie chart, and also recognize the proportions that go into the pie chart.